Hi y'all, welcome back. I'm Charlotte and today I am setting in front of this window because it's been so cloudy and dreary. The lighting in my sewing room is really bad. So anyway, here I am sitting next to the window to get a little bit better lighting. But I am very, very excited to bring my next video, which is how to sew an apron. In a previous video, I showed you how to put the ruffle on this apron. But in this video, it is you will follow along as I sew the complete apron and put it all together. So anyway, I hope you enjoy watching me sew. And if you do, please leave any kind of comments or whatever, you know, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So anyway, talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so I have cut out all the pieces for my apron. That's the ruffle. And these are the two pockets. This is the facing. Then I have the two waist ties. This is the insert at the top. And these are the two neckties and the body of the apron. Here I am sewing the rickrack onto the top part of the ruffle at the bottom of the apron. In a previous video, I demonstrated how to sew a ruffle onto an apron. So that has been done already. And this is just sewing the rickrack on. First thing you do is, you know, measure it and then pin it down real well. And as you're sewing, take out the pins. Oh, and by the way, I design all my own aprons that I sell in my Etsy shop. I do not use any store-bought patterns. So everything that I sell in my Etsy shop is, has been designed by me. After sewing the ruffle on the bottom, I sew the insert on top of the bib part of the apron. Okay, I'm back. Since I didn't demonstrate how to do the rickrack for the ruffle, I'll do it here for the top of the bib. Measure the rickrack how much you need and trim it. Then all you do is really secure it very well with a bunch of pins. And that way it's in place when you're ready to sew. now it's time to iron iron and pin it's a very important step in sewing is to iron your pieces before you sew them and I can't believe when I first learned how to sew back way back in high school I don't think I ever ironed anything I can't believe anything ever turned out okay so I am ironing the waist ties and neckties in half and then pinning them so that they'll be ready to sew. Okay, these are the pockets. I've already sewn them together. What what it is, it's just two uh, squares, right sides together, sewn, and then flip them back inside out. Okay, this is the facing. I always like to add facings to my aprons because it really makes the back side look nice and neat.
Okay, the ruffle and the insert at the top has been sewn in already, and so now it's time to sew the outside edges of the apron. And I like to uh, iron the hem before I sew it and pin it down and do a, like fold over the hem twice so it has a nice clean edge. Okay, and flip it over and do it all over again on the other side so that you can sew both sides at the same setting. I do think I burnt myself a couple of times while ironing this piece. The next part of this video, I will be hemming the facing and the sides of the apron. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, back at the work table. I've already sewn the waist ties and neckties, and so now I'm just trimming the thread to the ends. If I did back stitching at the end, I usually do not tie up the thread, but sometimes I forget to do it, so then I have to tie the ends. So that's what I'm doing now. So now you have all these long tubes that are inside out. So I'll show you how to turn them right side out, a simple way to turn them right side out, and that's with a safety pin. Okay, attach the safety pin at the end of the tie, and then insert it inside the tube and grab the safety pin and push it through, push it through, and gather as you're going along and you're pulling the fabric inside out. Okay, I know it's kind of long, but uh, it's certainly easier to use a pin than just trying to pull the fabric through without the pin. I know it kind of makes my fingers cramp up, especially since I have to do four of them. Okay, so the neckties are ready to put in place and sew onto the apron. Flip everything over to make sure everything is right sides together and pin each necktie at the very top and edge facing down. And then I like to put the facing then on top of that, right sides together, pin it. Make sure it's uh, even by folding it in half and placing them placing it, uh, let's see, mid, with the midpoints together. Okay, so now it's time just to sew all that together.
Okay, we're coming on to the home stretch. Uh, last few things to do here, I've stitched the facing onto the apron and the pockets. So I'll be showing you how to sew the pockets on. And then I apologize, I'm not gonna show how to stitch the waist ties on. It's pretty self-explanatory. And make sure you just fold the ends inside and then stitch that too. Okay, it's done. Thanks for watching me sew. I hope you enjoyed it and please leave any comments or subscribe to my YouTube channel if you liked it. Thanks a lot. See you next time.